why don't none of the goddamn Jacksons know what's black or white? Like, like I don't understand. <laughs> like, Janet Jackson, look at a picture of Kamala's father and then look at Michael Jackson's alleged children <laughs> and, and see the difference between someone who's of color and someone who's white. It ain't really that hard, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And this brings me to a point I've been wanting to talk about, actually, right? Like, we live in a country that said one drop of black blood makes you black. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's in question, all right? Since when did we get to choose to, like, alleviate ourselves of the burden of blackness due to, like, our features passing, my nigga? To do, this is the history of it, right? And this is my nephew over here. This is the history of it. A light-skinned dude that looks like your grandfather walks on a train and sits down. He's been walking on the same train for 30 years and sitting down, right? And going from one destination to the next. And one day, it's a different conductor. He looks and says, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see some naps in that hair. Right? You ain't supposed to be sitting up here. And he said, well, I never... Sir, I'll have you know I went to Juilliard and all that. He said, I don't want to hear all that. Use the nigga. And he was like, no, I can prove it. They went to court. The judge in official court said one drop of black blood makes you a black man in America. And therefore, all your rights strict. You're all your rights strict, stripped. <laughs> so now, we, what, 100, 200 years later, now everybody's trying to hold up the black bag, the brown paper bag next to Kamala Harris's parents. Nah, man, y'all don't get to do that. Y'all don't get to do that. I remember when, when Barack Obama, we was calling him the first black president and every, all the white Republicans was like, well, he's also white. <laughs> nah, man. you don't get to claim it. You know what I'm saying? When it's beneficial and then throw it away when it doesn't help you, brother. That's why I find the question more insulting though. Yeah. Because it's like, you think we're stupid enough Oh, look, she's black. Like, Dumb. You know, or just like, hey, she's not black. Don't vote for her. Like, that's all you're voting off of. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, so race, right? Okay, so here's my thing. And y'all can tell me if, I, if y'all agree, right? <clears throat> I believe race is a made-up thing, right? They made it up to infer certain power to certain people. When Irish people first came to the United States of America, they said, you're not white. Irish people are the whitest motherfuckers on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, in no way, shape, or form would you ever look at an Irish person and say you're not white. That's because whiteness is a privilege that they bestow on you or take it away. Case in point. Did you know Saudi Arabian people are listed as white on the census? Yeah, they are. Would you think, can the Saudi Arabian person join the KKK? On the right, with the right hand. Nah, not if they, <laughs> not if the KKK yeah. see their last name. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I walk bar. Nah, hell no, nah. oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Be smart, child. Invitation. Yeah, no. So you, if you, this is my theory. If you can't join the KKK, you're not allowed to call yourself a white person. You basically a nigga. That's how I feel about it. I don't care if you Asian. I don't. That's why on the East Coast. Asian people can say the N-word, and certain people, like, certain people from certain countries in the Middle East, they say the N-word, too. Because when you come over here, they treat you just like that. You see what I'm saying? So, the reason why, and this is my own belief, you know what I mean? Fact check me if you will. The reason why they say Saudi Arabian people are white, because what do most Saudis have? You racist. (laughs) (laughs) But nah, Saudi Arabians come from money, oil. That's the country that white people want to be in bed with, right? So they will impart whiteness to them, right? Even though it's a Muslim country. Now, try to go to uh, Jerusalem and try to bring them over here. Bring the immigrants from uh, Gaza over here. You think they're going to call them white? Hell no. All that is, they impart, hey, 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 Jewish people, you doing kind of good out here in these streets. Come on into the white fold. You are, Jewish people are white inside of a bank, and Jewish people are a bunch of, well, I ain't going to say that because I'm going to get, they're a bunch of kikes everywhere else, see? All right? 
Everywhere else, two white people, Jewish people are lowest piece of crap on, on the totem pole. But in the bank or anywhere where business is being done, all of a sudden use a white guy. Same thing with Italians, same things with Hispanics. As long as you benefit in them, they'll call you white. As long as it doesn't benefit them, you a nigga. So Kamala Harris has, they don't want her to benefit from the fact that she's a minority, so they're trying to take away the thing that is her strength. The fact that she's a minority. The first black whatever. And yeah, that's all it is. It's all a game to them, man. There's no, oh, hear me clearly, all right? It's called having two opposing ideas in your mind at the same time. Paul, what's it called? <laughs> nah, man. You know that's what I'm <laughs> it's always going to be wrong. Well, my point is, you have to know that it's important that you're black, right? It's a real thing. It has real life consequences. You'll know that if you go speeding through Georgia, right? You get pulled over like this, especially as a black man, all right? However, it's not a real thing. There's no scientific basis for race, it's just something they made up, right? Your skin and your hair type, your eyebrows, your eyeball, all it is is a combination of your genes that have been passed down from millions of years. The first man was an African, right? The first woman was African. The first civilization was African and everything was born out of that. How we separated ourselves after that, that's just how we decided in society. There's cases of African in Africa, an African couple having a, ch a child with pure white skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. It's an African trait, but it's recessive. So it took for a couple of people with those traits to mate together to make that quote unquote race of people. But they just made it up, man. They just made it up. Because think about it, think about it. If I go enslave, uh, I don't know, short people, right? <laughs> Everybody under 5'4", under right? And I make them like do everything I tell them to, pick up all the bottles of baby oil that I tell them to and shit, right? <laughs> You're gonna feel bad for them. The only way, other people are gonna stop me from doing what I wanna do, especially if I'm the only one doing it. So in order to stop everyone in this room from stopping me from enslaving that short dude, I have to make y'all see that short dude as inhuman. Like, see this short guy? He's not like us. He's not like us. This short guy, one step above an animal. You know what I'm saying? That's why he gets treated like that. See, that's why we tall. We tall over here. He short ass. That nigga ain't tall. And then we laugh at him. And then I, I dehumanize him. I take away your empathy towards him. And then I'm allowed to enslave him. Because everybody's like, well, you know, you know he is short. He is short. <laughs> Nigga, he is short, though. So that's what they did to black people. That's what they did to anybody that wasn't them to justify the way that they treated them. And at first, it wasn't really a black or white thing. It was more we, us from this country are better than you in your country. Go back in history. The UK, the United Kingdom, or, or them people hated the French. The, I, there's a whole two separate countries in Ireland. Northern Ireland and Ireland. Why? Because the people from Ireland wasn't fucking with people from <laughs> England, my nigga. At all. Like, we don't want nothing to do with them. And Northern Ireland was like, they're not so bad. They're giving us shit. They hate them niggas. Like, there's deep-rooted hatred between each other for years. So when the Irish people came to America, Americans were descended from England. Fuck the Irish. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. And they know it. Politics is wrestling. I just watched the Hulk, Hulk, the, not Hulk Hogan, Vince McMahon documentary, right? And they said, all we do was, anytime America's going through some type of strife, a country at war, we make a character from that country, he's the bad guy. We put a, another white guy in an American flag, he's the good guy. Boom, simple. We don't got to tell much story, the story tells itself. That's what they do to you. That's what they do to you. You see a guy that doesn't look like you, he's the enemy. He's the terrorist. 
He's the worst person on earth. So when we go over there and we bomb his children and his family and his cousins and his friends and we blow up, we blow up synagogues, we blow up mass shiz, we blow up, we blow up churches, we blow up children's schools. Don't shed a tear because he's not like us. He's short. <laughs> he's inhuman. He's a dog. He's whatever. He's not the race that we said was the good race that we just flipped the coin and decided that it was. That's what they do, man. They separate and they separate and they separate. To Kamala's credit, she tried to downplay the, the first when, when uh, Hillary Clinton ran for president. She kept saying, oh, I'm going to be the first. We need a woman in office. I'm going to be the first woman. That shit doesn't play well. Right? One, because most motherfuckers are biased against women running shit or being in a position of power. But two, because we are tired of you doing things for show. We want you to do what actually helps us, right? So if a black person comes and says, yo, come vote for me, I'm the first black whatever, whatever, such and such, I don't care, man. What are you gonna do to help out the situation? Tell us about that. I'm gonna be first to black. <laughs> <laughs> first to black to do what? What exactly are you going to do? Like, I don't, I'm so tired. I remember when, um, uh, what's her name? The lioness in UFC? Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes won the first championship, and someone went on Twitter. It's this big writer. I don't remember his name. He's like a, a, a res well-respected sports writer. He went on, on, on Twitter and was like, we're going to always remember this day. We're the first lesbian woman <laughs> won a championship. And I remember I wrote on there, I said, when I seen her in the ring celebrating, the first thing that came to mind was, damn. I'm so glad she eats some pussy. <laughs> that girl up there eating out the coochie and winning the championship. Like, no, nobody cares, man. Nobody cares that she's gay or that whatever. I care about how good of a fighter she is. And when it comes to sports, I'm supposed to, like, ignore that shit. I'm supposed to ignore race. I'm supposed to ignore all that. Are you good at what you're doing? And what I would say is you need to take that same logic and bring it to politics. Are you good for this job? Take the race out of it, yo. Take the, take, I remember Bernie Sanders. He was about to beat uh, the uh, Hillary Clinton. They started calling him sexist. Oh, he, 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 his fans are sexist. So therefore, ipso facto, he's sexist. Because I just invented that story. And since he didn't immediately come out and trash all the people I just invented, he must be allowing it. You see what I'm saying? That's how it goes. That's how they do it. They, they're doing it to Caitlin Clark right now. Caitlin Clark hasn't said one mumbling word about anything. All she want to do is play basketball. Her fans are online being racist, and she hasn't come out against it. Therefore, she must be racist. And then she comes out and says, hey, nobody should be racist. Everybody stop that. Those people that are saying that stuff, they aren't fans. They're trolls. A little too late, Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Where was you when I was outraged three weeks ago? Man? Shut up, man. It's all a game that they play that they use to control you, but don't get me wrong. It's a well played, it's a well laid game, all right? You can't get away from it. When I walk outside and I see the cops, to this day, I pause for a second. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? It's like I saw a ghost. Because these motherfuckers will do to me wrong just because of what I look like. I can't get away from that. Even though I know it's based on a false pretense, they don't know that. They see me and they think of these, these stereotypes or these things that, that, that lead them to believe that there's something wrong with me. And so some people run away from that. They don't want to be black. There's a lot of black Republicans that don't want to be associated with their own race until it benefits them. You see, so like, uh, what's my man's name? The first black Supreme Court member. Clarence Thomas, right? You can't tell him that anybody's racist until they told him he wasn't a good uh, Supreme Court member or he shouldn't be a Supreme Court member. <laughs> I just read shit there. <laughs> okay, and then all of a sudden, he was black, and then all of a sudden, racism exists. That's how it works, man. They use it when it's to their benefit and get rid of it when it ain't. Tell... Uh, Janet Jackson to sing louder and shut the fuck up. Man. <laughs>